Today, I'm joined by Jonathan Morgan, who is a five branch estate agent from South Wales. Four or five years ago, he adopted video in, in his estate agency and he has transformed his business, which means he can get more listings at higher fees. Jonathan, talk to me about how video has changed your estate agency. Without a doubt, it, it's changed our industry and it's changed our estate agency as well. Um, the, the moment that we knew that it had worked is that the first person said to me, oh, I've seen your video and that's why we instructed you for evaluation. Uh, what we find is that especially whether we were fortunate to, to time it, you know, I came here in 2019 with yourself originally for my first, first video training and then COVID happened. Uh, and then from there, what we did is embraced video by reaching people when they couldn't view houses we cut our teeth, we learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes. But since then, we've perfected and polished the product. We've actually dressed down the business. We have branded polo shirts on video because it comes across a lot more friendly, less formal, less pushy, less salesy. Um, and we show the value for the property. But what we find now is that I've encouraged all of my own valuers to have their own social media profiles as part of our brand. We post content on there. What we're finding is that people are coming to us as a brand. People are coming to us through portals and generic, you know, inquiries, but they're also coming directly to us for the videos, for the content that each valuer is producing. Personal brand. So you're happy for your colleagues to ha have a personal brand with the, under the Peter Morgan Group? Yeah. Because an awful lot of bosses watching this wouldn't wouldn't like that because you're almost it's the the, the lack of power or the control. Yeah. So. We've had that um, scenario with, with Agents Together and things that I've been through that. And now I encourage every one of my staff to have their own social media and to promote it. One, you reach a different demographic and target audience. You build credibility because people in the community are posting relative content, which looks really well. But also, you know, the second you send somebody out to value a property, you have no control over what they say. True. What they look like, how they turn up, what they smell like, what they act like, anything. On social media, you do have a realm of control because if you don't like it, you can ring them and say, don't post that, take it down. So you do actually have more control than just letting people out. Um, but people buy from people, people trust people. Um, when you force things through a brand, you know, it's very difficult to be, remain sincere. But when one of your negs or one of your valuers shares a five-star review to their own social network for their own friends and family, that carries a lot of weight, a lot more than if I post it from Peter Morgan. How did you get over your... Um persuading your colleagues, because going on video is quite hard work for a lot of people. How did you get over that? The numbers did their own, did their own talking. You know, okay. there was a lot, a lot of pushback. I'm not doing that, I'm not posting videos. No way am I filming a video, I don't want to be in it. Uh, but then what we've seen is that presenter-led video became a huge thing. Um, now, at the minute, it's not so, not so prolific. What we're seeing is actually any regular content. As long as the property looks nice and it's engaging, it's getting good traction. Um, so we're actually mixing it up. We're doing some presenter-led stuff, some drone stuff, just general regular content. Yeah, I agree. Um, but what we're finding is, is that even people who won't go on camera, they're doing the odd cameo or they're still posting something and something's better than nothing. You know, you've said so many times you've just got to start doing it and, and it works and that is so true. But I wouldn't be worried about your own value as having their own brand because the more people you've got that are memorable and have a point of reference, the better your business is going to do. Thank you for your time today. No problem.